Time for us to do the mysterious orb favor or side quest. We're already quite close to where we need to be. If you're having uh, trouble getting here, I'll try and describe this briefly for you. Basically, from the Freya's camp, you'll come out south. There's a pretty prominent um, thing that we need to interact with here. I don't know what they're called. Uh, and you basically like inscribe a rune onto it. And then you just need to follow this river here. You'll get like a, a turning look and you want to go left because you want to be heading south. And pretty much keep going south. And eventually you'll come to this rune with the red, with the red on it. And just across the river from it, we are at the Dwarven camp, which is where we'll turn this quest into as well. Now, I've already done the Nornia chest here. I'll point out where all of the um, spinning contraptions are, just in case you need to. You've got one there, and there's one right over on the right-hand side. Let me just show you where that is as well. Just over there, you'll need to use the um, sigils to be able to remove all of the, the plants that will be all over that. And there's one that you'll see just behind where that chest is in a second. But for now, to continue with the quest, we're going to go into this left corner here and we're going to head on up the wall. At the top of the wall, we're going to collect our first piece of Lunda's armor from this chest. My also save kind of went a bit far with it. We've got to make a hard save before that. So apologies for that. Once you've grabbed that, though, we're going to head on and jump over here. Loot over this way. Jump over. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can. Not with those vines in the way. It's worth noting that obviously you can make that expand by firing each one twice. With that done, we can head on down. By the way, if this video helps you and you happen to leave early, please leave a like on the video and give me a hammer comment in the comment section. Obviously, people leaving the videos early damages the video and it just, um, it'll help other people to find it. So it'd be really handy and help me out. Either way, there's the uh, third contraption there that you can hit to open the Nornia chest. Okay, then, so we're at the top. Over here, we'll carve another rune. This is exactly what the first thing that I was talking about looks like. Yeah, go in. Make sure you look over the river and press square over on that. Otherwise, you're going to have to come back around to do that. So now we need to head back to the boat. I won't cut the entire route out because I think, I don't know, some people like to have a little bit of the route in there. So now that we are in the boat, we can turn to the right here. Now, if we could get back to the story. Of <sighs> the closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. Just keep on going down, keep on going down. Confronting the past. Peace would last. So as you're coming down, you'll see this beach here. This isn't really where you want to land. Some enemies you can fight, we're going to be on there later on. For now, you actually want to take this hard left instead. I fail all the same. It's going to take us into the cave. Say their markings. We should be careful. Go ahead and land. So here's where the orb is itself. Just grab it right from here. Now, I have already done a video for dealing with this, but because it's quite quick, we'll do it again now. So for that, you just want to grab... Bomb, you want to put a sigil on there, throw it at the sigil. It does that. And you want to grab another bomb. And you want to throw that at this. One up here. And then you want to, like, double sigil everything across. What? And throw it in the middle. Opens the chest. Now we can get back on in the boat. Continue on our merry way to the right. Now we can go ahead and land on this beach. And down here. That's going to give us the next piece of the armor. Like more of Lunda's old armor. Yeah, exactly. There's lots of stuff in here that wants to pop all over you. There's another one there. You Head on up the rock face. And then during the mysterious orb quest, we'll actually be able to get one of the ravens just here in the veiled passage. It's pretty easy to find which you've made your way here, to be honest. In addition, if you want some extra hack silver, you can throw your axe over that way into the plant, and that'll let you get to it. But it's just hack silver in there, so I'm going to leave it out over there for the purpose of the video. Get 
these guys down. So over here we've got a load of stuff we want to break. Excuse me, sir. We're a little bit busy. So come down to the left for a chest for some looting. Find it weird this isn't a part of the armor. Right then. Up we go. Get moving. Get ready for a run here. Uh these oh they do blow up. I didn't even notice my first time through. Right, so uh, we're going to get some plants firing at us, and I don't think we can actually um, deal with them for the sake of this video. Also, just on this left-hand side, there's a artifact. I'm going to leave it for now because I want to do a specific video for that. Just for the people that are looking for the artifacts. I'm trying to get everything categorized into playlists, so everybody can find it nice and easy. Continue through. Throw your ice onto there. Break his shield. Oh, so continuing on. They were followers of mine. I would have thought them wiser than to meddle with Sather Melbear. We can grab the lore and the hack piece. Uh, also, so this is actually a River Delta Raven that we can get during the Mysterious Orb quest as well. So if you are looking for this Raven, this is how you go ahead and get it. If you need, obviously, guidance on the Mysterious Orb quest, that'll be in that video. With that done, we're going to go ahead and drop the bridge. Hello enemies. And then at the end of the mysterious orb quest, when you've dropped bridge, we can look over there and you can see that we have some pots under there. Now, if we make it a double one like this, look. We can spread these around. And we're going to need to be quick because they'll start disappearing in a second. So, I'm going to get over there, switch to the blaze as we go over. Blow that up so we can get the legendary chest. It's real nice. Cool, so that's that. So with that done then, Excuse me, can we go back up? We are now able to turn the quest in if you wish to, but we're missing one piece of Lunda's armor. So we're going to get back in the boat. And on the map then, we're pretty much just going to head straight east. So I can meet you guys over there in a second, you'll see what I mean. Okay, so here's where we are on the map. We're going to go ahead and land on the beach. We've got some enemies to face. You guys don't need to see me do that though. And then once we've cleared all of this, all we need to do is interact with this. Glad to see that still works. That's all we there we are. That's all we need to do this is go back and take this back to Lunda. And we should be able to get our reward. Let's go see how happy she is. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Health has been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite toy. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my or 